guys, get ready with me for work. I'm not in a good mood. I woke up this morning to my period when it's a bit late. I've almost finished my sugar pills and my period only just came. But I think the plane messed my cycle up a little bit because it did that last time. I'm going to use the Colade Moisturizer for the first time. You guys to let me know in the comments what you're doing today. Because I feel like I don't really ask that. I'm always blabbing about my day and I never actually ask you guys what you're doing. I really like this moisturizer already. It's so good. Colade launches on the 26th of Feb, so keep a look out. I'm quite excited for today because I'm hanging out with my friends and Alex. So I'm going to Alex's game after work. He's played two games. He played last night and he's playing this morning. Anyway, and then after that I'm going back to his house and then we're going to the Glory game. And all my friends are coming this time. If you're at the Glory game and you come see me, come say hi. Because I always get messages of people being like, I saw you here, but I was too scared to say hi. Literally, just come say hi. My lips have been so dry ever since getting off that plane. And like, nothing is fixing it. I also have the most painful mouth ulcer right here. I noticed that I'm getting ulcers now whenever I'm like really stressed because they're so repetitive in this one spot and they always come when I'm stressed, so. It's also raining in Perth right now. I'm so confused and it's quite cold. And so I don't know if I should be wearing bike shorts to coaching like I usually do, because it gets hot in there, or if I should wear long pants because it's kind of cold. As at the Colade event, everyone was like so nice. I got so many compliments, everyone was just like so welcoming. Like, considering that was my first ever event, I was like so scared. And it was like nothing to worry about, like everyone was so nice. I have photos posted up on my Instagram if you want to go look. It's linked in my bio. I've got a few more days with my hair straightened and then I'm going to have to wash it. I have to start putting it up now because it's getting greasy. So I'm just going to brush my eyebrows out because I'm going straight to Alex's game after and I don't really want to look like a mess. To be fair though, when I finish coaching, I seriously look like I've just run a marathon. Looking after kids is actually quite draining. Saturday mornings in the gym are just very, very, very busy and there's a lot going on. Like I'm only there for two hours having two groups, but there's, like, there's a lot going on. Okay, I'm already for coaching, so let me know in the comments what you're doing today and have an amazing day. Hey guys, get ready with me for the day. I am having such a down day, like, nothing is making me feel good. Bailey is here for some moral support. I'm fine, I'm just, I've been doing so much for the past couple of days and today's my first day where I can, like, calm down and organise everything. But I'm so low in energy. I just want to cry. Anyway, so I used the Colade moisturizer the other day for the first time. I've used it twice now and I love it. I'm not just saying that because like, you know, they gave it to me. Like I have to say I love it. Like I love it. I also used the body lotion and I noticed because my tan went all like patchy on my arms because like I, my body had no moisturize, moisture and my skin is already so much better. Like it's not dry. So that's a great sign. And just to let everyone know, this actually launches tomorrow, which is super exciting. So you don't want to miss out. So keep a look out how good my skin looks just from that moisturizer. I definitely recommend this. Having one of those days where you can't be bothered to do anything, but like you have so much you need to do, but you just, I'm not going to do it. Ever since coming back from Gold Coast, I haven't unpacked my suitcase. There's clothes everywhere. I came back to a messy room, which was the worst feeling. Everything is just so unorganized and I'm kind of silently freaking out about it right now. My tan has literally stayed on forever. Like, it's so dark. My sister Isabel just got back from Japan and she got me this hair oil. And since my hair is currently straightened, it needs a lot of oil in it. So we're going to put some in. My confidence just goes so much higher when my hair is straight. Like... Oh wait, I need to brush my hair. Oops. I don't know how to explain it. It just makes... Oh, it just makes me feel so much better about myself. And the fact... I got it straightened on Tuesday by a hairdresser. And it's starting to get really greasy. So 
I have to wear it up now, which makes me sad. Lucky last thing is my aftercare for my lash lift. If we've been asking what this is, it's just an aftercare serum from Eliplex. I'm not too sure how to say that, but I showed it in one of my other videos. It looks like that. I feel like Bailey and I are just going to lay here for the rest of the day and do nothing. Anyway, my skincare is all done, so have an amazing day. Hey guys, get ready with me for school. I'm actually excited for school today because I don't really have school. I'm doing a first aid course at school for my dance program for pretty much the whole day. It's compulsory in order to pass the cert three in dance, so that's what I'm doing today. I'm kind of scared though, like what if you don't pass? What if you don't pass the first aid test? That's kind of embarrassing for me. I haven't used my glow recipe in a while, so well, let's use it. I meant to have a free period at the end of the day, so on Tuesdays I finish school at 2.15, but this third aid course finishes at usual school time, so no free period for me today. I want to go in and change one of my subjects. I don't want to change food because, I don't know, it's just not a very good subject for me to have, so if you haven't already seen, I made that TikTok yesterday where it's like, like social media is fake here's some things you don't really see or know anyway if you have the time update to go check it out please do because i am no different to anyone just because i have a social media platform like i still have my insecurities i like i still have things wrong with me like just because i have social media and i portray my life as like perfect and stuff it's it, it's not i'm so sad i had to wash my hair last night so just gone in a bun. My period is also over, so whoa, whoa, why is there a fly? So life's good. My period's going. My eyebrows look fat and bushy right now, but the amount that they drop during school, like they end up turning so thin during school. So I brush them out bushy now so that they can look decent by the time I get to school. They are so unsymmetrical though. If you see me in person, you probably <laughs> Probably wouldn't think I'm the same person because my eyebrows are like this. So, also, guys, I'm so happy speaking about it. Well, I can't actually speak about it. When I can find out if I can tell you guys, I'm so. My eyebrows already dropped so much. I think they have a problem with holding shape because the elf brow lift is so good, but my eyebrows just don't like it. Should I just like fill them in a little bit with this? Not a lot, just like the missing gaps. I just want to tell you guys that today, no, this time next month, I'll be on a plane flying to Europe. For all my UK followers, I will be in the UK for like a month. So if you don't see me, where have you been? Or where have I been? Believe it or not, 35% of my following is Australia and 35% is the UK. So if I don't meet some of you guys, I will actually be mad. Okay, I'm all done. Have an amazing day at school. Bye! Hey guys, get on ready with me while I answer some of your questions. Okay, one really common one was like about my name and if I have a middle name. My full name is Kira Lily McQueen. That's why my username is Kira Lily. I don't know. I just like how that sounds. And people ask me like, how you pronounce your name? It's spelled Kiara, but you pronounce it Kira. But honestly, if you call me Kiara, I don't mind because I get it a lot. Someone asked me when my next vacation is. My next like, vacation is March 27th to April 30th. I'm going to Europe. I am going to Melbourne next week, but that's for TikTok, so it's not really a vacation. A common one was people asking how long me and Alex been together, like how did we meet? We go to the same high school, so we met in year seven when we both went to high school. I liked him in year seven, but like I never said anything about it. And he apparently liked me ever since year seven. We got together on the 19th of October in year nine, so 2022. So we've been together for one year and four months now. I'm gonna be away in Europe for our one, one and a half year. It's like a bit of a tradition because he went to the other side of the world on our one year and now i'm gonna be wearing our one and a half year but we kind of like started like talking from food class in year nine because i asked to be his food partner so i made the first move he said it was him it was me 
Are we allowed sleepovers yet? The answer is no. A very common question was people asking how I get my lashes so long and healthy. The key to getting super long healthy lashes was Lash Therapy Australia's growth serum. It worked so well. I know it doesn't work really well for everyone, but speaking from my part, it has worked so well on my lashes. And then people were asking what's my favourite skincare brand. I can't really answer this one because I've got all different favourites for different reasons. Like if I want a glowy skin look, I'd have to say glow recipe for that one. But then for just like maintaining my skin health, I'd have to say La Roche-Posay. But honestly, every brand that I've tried, like Collade, I really love Collade as well. Like brands just like that, like, I don't know. Like, they're all good. I had a lot of questions asking about this social media account and, like, how I started it. Do I want to pursue it? Blah, blah, blah. I'm going to answer that in a different TikTok. I'll probably make a get ready with me and I'll just talk about my account and this. Lucky last, no one asked this, but I'm just going to address it because I'm sick of these comments. Everyone always asks why this eye, like, wanders off. It's because it's blind. I actually get really offended when people like comment and point it out because it's one of my biggest insecurities. So to anyone asking, this eye is blind. That's why it looks kind of funny. Comment down more questions that you want me to answer because I'll keep this as like a series. Anyway, I have finished my skincare. So that is enough for today. But I hope you all have an amazing day. Hey guys, get on ready with us from the Snapchat retreat. Got gifted these super adorable robes. Love them for they our ice bath. ice bath tomorrow morning. See how that goes. Everyone is actually currently out partying at the after party, but we are underage, so. Well, we went, but it's just a bit boring because there's really nothing to do for us because everyone's drinking and we can't do that. So, I forgot a double cleanser. That's what the sub is tonight. <laughs> so we just got back from the actual dinner though. The dinner went for so long, which it did. It went for a lot Wait, longer six than to, six to nine. Six, six to nine. Nine thirty. Yeah, three four hours. Tomorrow we have ice baths in the morning, then breakfast, and then we depart back to the airport. It's gonna give a little recap of the day. Okay, so we got here and we went straight into like a little welcome ceremony. We were late. We were late. Okay, so it was really awkward. We sat there and then we went straight into like. It was called community. What? We then went into community. We had a little incident. Anyways. Um, after that, we... What did we do after that? Oh, we went to a little like art gallery for like a manifestation workshop. We didn't end up actually going. We came back to the room, unpacked our stuff, and got ready. And then got ready dinner. for the dinner. Oh, the drinks. Sundown drinks. So we didn't... So it was sundown drinks, but we didn't really have any drinks. And then mm. we took lots of photos, so that was good. And then we had the dinner. It wasn't bad, but we're picky eaters. We're both picky eaters, so like, not the best. Mm. And then we went to the after party, and now we've gotten into our robes. And, and we're getting on ready. Lauren doesn't know how to wash her actual, oh my god. Lauren doesn't know how to wash her beauty blenders, so she wipes them on a towel. No, I wash them and then I wipe the foundation off, so. Long story short, I still need to have a shower and this is the only towel left. Let, let, let. So after getting unready, we're going to look through all of our like photos and videos that we took today. Hopefully post. Yeah, <laughs> figure out which ones we're going to post, which ones we won't. Edit some videos to come out for you guys. We're on separate flights home. I'm on... So all the Perth people that are here are on one flight and I'm on another one by myself. But I've got a window seat, so it's fine. I forgot my cleanser. Yeah. My nighttime skincare. Mum, say hi to Curious. Get on ready with me. Hello. <laughs> Guys, oh, all I'm going to say no. is El Ray has got no. to be the sweetest influencer out there. I haven't no, met someone nicer. Boring. Like, El, if you're watching this, I love you so much. Thank you for everything. Oh, that is a lot. Honestly, I'm just going to put this all over my whole face. But I got to meet my manager today, and she is lovely. Like, I was so stressed to meet her. I was like, oh my god, that's so scary. But no, she is the sweetest person ever. So that is another bonus about today. Okay, I'm pretty much all unready. I just need to take my hair out because I had a ribbon bubble braid situation today. Wish I left my hair in just a normal ponytail because I felt ugly tonight and I think that's because of my hair. Okay, I'm already unready. She still has a lot to do, but I'm on the phone. Okay, good, good night, night, guys. guys. Hey guys, do my skincare with me. I just finished school, had a shower, and now I'm doing my skincare to get in bed and finish off my health assignment. 
I really want to start getting in the habit of coming back from school and like unpacking my bag and being organized because right now my organization skills don't exist. I'm actually really liking this health assessment. It's due on Wednesday and I haven't started because I get too carried away talking to my friends in class but it's actually a pretty good assessment. Basically the assignments like you have to write an essay on someone you look up to like your idol and I'm doing my grandma. My gran actually watches my TikTok so gran if you're watching I'm writing an essay about you. When like they introduced this assessment to us they gave us like this whole sheet of celebrities that you could do it about. I didn't know who any of them were and I was so stuck I was like I don't know who to choose but I feel like the person I most look up to is my gran so it kind of just makes sense to talk about her anyway. Guys I have some exciting news right before I go to the UK I'm getting my first ever brow lamination. Usually I just get like wax and like tinting and stuff. I'm talking to my brow artist and we're going to do a lamination this time and I'm so excited. I'm actually convinced that I have the most talented brow artist in Perth. Her name is the Brow Lounge, well that's her company. I'll make a comment and I will tag her so you can go look at her stuff if you want. She's located in Coburn. She just opened up her new um salon and there's a lash tech, like a lash person. And they also have a nail tech there, so quite a few options. And they are all the sweetest people ever. So if you want to go take a look at that, just look in the comments. I'll have her account tagged but i'm so excited so tomorrow's tuesday but i'm not gonna go to school because i'm gonna take a little mental health day because i think it's a bit needed i have so much going on right now and school is the last place i feel like i should be so i'm gonna take the day off anyway i need to go do my health assignment so i hope you guys have an amazing day hey guys let's get ready for school i didn't actually go to school yesterday because i took a little mental health day off of school because I just that was the last place I needed to be so much respect for people who can actually get themselves up and go to school because it is quite challenging I feel like recently I've been rambling so much about how much I'm struggling at the moment so I want you guys to let me know in the comments how you're going at the moment I feel like I banged my head into the wall when I was sleeping because my whole forehead is so sore up here I don't recall doing anything to it. I think today's gonna be a non-makeup day. I might put a bit of mascara on and I might just brush my eyebrows out. Okay guys, <laughs> this is no hate to the person whatsoever. Like, I go through my comments as much as I can and I saw this one comment. I didn't respond to it because I didn't really know how to. But this person commented saying, why doesn't she smile? Or like, and in the video, I was literally talking about how shit my mental health has been lately. No offense, but I think that might answer your question. No, I don't mean that in any hateful way whatsoever, but I'm just gonna put a little bit of mascara on the tips of my lashes. That's all I'm gonna do in terms of makeup. And for my hair, I think I'm just gonna put it in a messy bun up the top. Leave that or I might leave it down because I washed it yesterday, but I put it in a plait to sleep. Because anything other than my natural curls is great. Anyway, I hope you guys have an amazing day. Hey guys, let's do our skincare. Stop watching TikTok and play music. This is my new hoodie. It's from Kakeva. Look how cute. And I've got the matching trackies, but it is too hot to wear both. So this is currently my new added step. It's the Jewel Barrier Creamy Toner from Sally Max. I just posted a video on their brand. So if you want to have a look, it's my recent video. So guys, tomorrow it's Alex's first game of the season. He posts with Perth Glory, by the way, anyone's wondering. Also guys, some really exciting news tomorrow after coaching, before his game, I'm going to buy a new phone. <laughs> so I currently have the iPhone 13, which I'm going to give to my brother since he has completely broken his phone so i'm giving him my phone and then buying myself a new one and then we're going to his game which is so exciting i have a really sore stomach right now oh, the other day alex and i were like asking each other like questions to see how well we knew each other i think i knew better than you so let's see if he remembers them Ooh. what was my favorite animal so 
we've got the other questions we asked. What did we ask? Color. Color. Oh, mine's easy. Everyone knows my favorite color. Anyway, his favorite animal was a chimpanzee. Like monkeys, like gorillas. And this chimp guys, what do you think? If you're a girlfriend, you will like, understand to be like, or just in general. Do you just love when your boyfriend gets like a fresh haircut and then he like, stop! <laughs> and then like he sprays his cologne and it's like with fresh trim and cologne, it's just. Tomorrow he's versing Inglewood. Inglewood. Favourite, can you grab my little mask? Your favourite thing out of my school bag. That's in my eye. Thank you so much. Also, next weekend I'm getting my brows laminated. And I'm so excited! Oh, you can't stop seeing you then stop. Does anyone else sing songs like this when they're in like the happiest Nobody gets me Like I'm in such a healthy I'm in a healthy relationship, but I will always sing songs like this because it's just like skincare with me this is my first tiktok on my new phone because i went and bought a new phone today so before i had the 13 and i just bought the 15 pro max my brother completely broke his so i am giving him my phone and so i bought this one it is so nice i'm obsessed it did hurt to see two grand come out of my bank account but that's okay. Anyway, I just got back from Alex's game. He played a full game for the first team for Glory. I'm, I'm so proud of him. He played so well. Honestly, watching him play football has got to be one of the most favorite things I can do. He's just so talented. And I'm not like saying that because I'm like biased, like, oh, he's my boyfriend. Like, this boy is so talented. I'm actually really happy because my friend Ayana got a boyfriend who also plays for Perth Boy. So before Alex's game was on, I got to sit with her while she watched her boyfriends. And like that just makes me happy because like last season I was by myself. But I wasn't by myself, I was sitting with Alex's family. So the only problem is she leaves before his game because her boyfriend plays in the team before. I haven't really given you guys a little life update. So next week is my last week of coaching like regularly. I'm staying on as like a cover coach in case I need someone to cover but I'm no longer going to have like weekly days of coaching which is so exciting to be able to like move on and do other things like TikTok and focus on school but I'm going to miss all my friends from my gym club so much like I've only been there for just over a year but honestly like I love everyone at Dreams. After coming from a extremely toxic gym place I don't know, Dreams was just such a change in dynamics and that like, gave me a different perspective on like gymnastics because obviously I grew up with it being extremely toxic but not all gym places are like that so gotta remember that. Anyway, my skincare is all done so I hope you guys have an amazing day.